you're about to see one of the best model homes I have ever been in, in Central Texas, with one of the best views. Let's go take a look. Hi everyone, Seth Capel, Realtor here with another beautiful model home tour. But today, this one really goes to the next level because this is a true custom home by a true custom builder, Grand Endeavor Homes. Here in Georgetown, we are in HCH Ranch, the Canyons, and you are gonna see why it's called that because there are views in every direction throughout this home and you come in here into the great room and you're immediately wowed by all of this volume, all of the views off the back, and every room in this house has something truly special. And so I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna show you all of it because it is truly one of a kind home and it is beautiful. And you see that here in the great room, you see all of this volume with the high ceilings, with those transom windows up there and the really interesting ceiling design. And look at this mantle, a modern design there, but it's super elegant and just beautiful. So in a couple of minutes, I'm gonna take you outside. I'm gonna show you all of these views. I'm gonna even take you to one of the best lots available in the canyons and we're going to put the drone up so you can see really so many beautiful views around this home but right now let's get into this absolutely stunning kitchen here look at these countertops look at the beautiful cabinetry down to the lighting at the baseboard level but everything is so elegant and beautiful Look at this, six burners plus a griddle with a double oven range here. And these are soft close cabinets. I tried them out myself. I love how the backsplash as well as the vent hood match the countertops. I mean, this is something that is truly special and took a lot of design insight. And then you have this truly open kitchen here. And you could just see, I mean, it's so shiny. Those countertops are just beautiful. And take a look at this gorgeous refrigerator and freezer. You open this up and you can just really take it all in and see everything going on in your fridge and freezer. It's beautiful. And of course, if you come into the model, plenty of water and soda for you. And often, honestly, they're baking cookies and brownies. So it's, it's truly wonderful. I was here a couple of days ago with some folks who are considering building either custom or possibly semi-custom build on your own lot. So we were here a couple of days ago exploring and I have to tell you, they absolutely loved this home. So we're here in the pantry, but this pantry goes truly to the next level with all of this cabinetry, the countertops and the multiple electric sockets. So you can put various small appliances here and I can tell you for me I would be putting my espresso cappuccino machine right there you can put a toaster you can put a mixer for baking um, let me know what you would be putting there it's fun to think about and here you have the sink right next to the dishwasher there but check this out you would have that view while you're doing dishes and getting them ready to go into the dishwasher and so as you spin around here, you get to really take it all in and you see how open and voluminous this home is. And you have this stunning wine feature here that's see-through to a little sitting area or library area that I'm gonna show you. It's a really, really cozy area that you can just sit down and curl up with a book. There's some bookshelves there or a little desk area. It's really neat. 
Of course, there is an incredible home office, which I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. But right now, I need to get you outside. You need to see the pool, the outdoor kitchen, and amazing views. So we're gonna get out here, and then I need to show you this primary suite which is truly one of the best primary suites I have ever seen. So I'm really excited to show that to you. But right now, let's get outside. Look at this beautiful outdoor living. You've got that extensive kitchen and bar area there, the table here, a whole outdoor living sitting area here with the TV, the fireplace, and you have the tongue and groove ceiling across. Of course, they outfitted it with speakers. And let's take a look at the pool and there is also a putting green as well. If you've watched my channel, you know that one of the first things I always mention is the floor plan name. But out here in the canyons with Grand Endeavor, this is a true custom builder. So really just think of this home as something that gives you ideas because you can build exactly what you want. There are multiple architects that they either recommend or you can bring your own. And so this is basically just to give you ideas and you could build a larger home, which they have plenty of in this neighborhood, and you could build a smaller home, maybe even 2,500 square feet or 3,000 square feet. So there is quite the range. And when you look out at those views, know that there are plenty of lots available in this community that have similar or even better views. And I'm gonna show you one that I think has the best view in the neighborhood, and it is currently still for sale. I wanna get you over to see the primary suite, which like I said, may be the best primary suite I have ever seen. But if you are wanting to see more of the views and more of the community in the canyons, don't worry. I'm going to share more of this later in the video and put the drone up so you can see more of that as well. So we're here continuing part of the kitchen. Actually, you have a wine fridge here. You have an ice maker there and an, e an extra beverage sink. Um, but here you can lead in through this corridor to this gorgeous primary suite with a really interesting ceiling design here. Uh, very spacious room. This is a king size bed with the sitting area with a fireplace there on the right side and a really cool ceiling design. So absolutely stunning. And this is the view you have literally still with your head on the pillow. So if you would like to wake up with that view, this is totally possible in the canyons with Grand Endeavor. So that's why I said this is one of the best model homes I have ever been in. And I talk to folks all the time who are either local here in Central Texas looking to build their dream home, or they're moving here from out of state, from Washington State, from Oregon, from California, from Illinois, from Florida, from New York. And they are wanting to know, can I still get an amazing home with a little bit of land, with an amazing view in Central Texas? And I'm here to tell you, you absolutely can. You can see it throughout this home and you have plenty of opportunities to build in the canyons. And I'm gonna share with you another community that is just a couple of miles down the road where you can build with Grand Endeavor for a little bit less money. So it is another opportunity to consider. And here you are on a patio right outside the primary suite bathroom with these incredible views that also connects to your outdoor living and your pool area. But get this, you have another patio outside that's very private to the right, right there to the right of this cool bathtub, which honestly is like its own piece of artwork right here. It's just so beautiful to look at. Um, I love this design. And you have that other patio right there that has a stone wall around it for privacy and it's just a really neat feature. So you have that extra vanity area there. This is your second vanity and you're getting a peek of that walk-in closet. And don't worry, we're gonna head straight over there. It truly is one of the most beautiful walk-in closets that I've seen. Not necessarily the largest, although it is a very large walk-in closet. I'm talking about all the materials, the design, 
all the different levels. You have so many different height hanging bars, drawers, this island with the stone countertop. And I absolutely love these lighting accents right there on each hanging bar. It just really is beautiful. So you can take a look at all of your wardrobe, see your shoes, your purses, your ties, uh, you know, whatever you were gonna go golfing that day, you can see it all and really just at a glance, appreciate your own closet and wardrobe. So another neat thing is this connects to the beautiful laundry utility room. So we're gonna get in there in, in just a moment right here. Um, but I'll take a quick moment to introduce myself. My name is Seth Capel. I've been a realtor in Central Texas for 18 years and I've worked with many different custom builders, semi-custom builders, and luxury production builders. And I've represented so many clients on their new construction projects. And I love helping them look for their land, selecting the right builder, but really truly understanding the process and all of the different questions and things you need to know as you explore building a home. And so if you have questions about new construction, you wanna learn more, I talk about a lot of this on my channel. So if you'd like to hear more, you can hit subscribe. Of course, you can reach out to me anytime. I'm always happy to help. So next up, I'm gonna take you over to a beautiful home office. I think it's really handsome and I think you're gonna love it as well. And then there is a casita or what we might call a next gen suite. And so that is a really cool feature to see as well. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna take you over to see the best lot in the community. According to me, I think it has the best view and it is still available and we're gonna get out there in just a moment. But right now we'll head over to that office I wanna reiterate, this is a custom home and you can change anything about this home. The floor plan, the design, inside and out, all of the materials, anything is up for discussion and it is truly meant to be to build your dream home any way that you want. And when you're working with a good builder, the right architects and designers and an experienced realtor, you can really understand the process and have proper expectations and the whole build can be a much smoother experience and very pleasant but that said with every type of build there are pluses and minuses and i can tell you that custom building is not for everyone in some cases the best decision may be to build more of a semi-custom or a build on your own lot or even a luxury production home and so these are some of the things that I love helping folks figure out. Um, so here we are in one of the powder rooms here, and this is just a beautiful, richly colored, dark uh, powder room here. I love how this dark blue tile matches with the brass and goes all the way up to the ceiling there. Really well done. So we're gonna head over to this casita or next gen suite now. And this is becoming more and more popular in a lot of model homes because a lot of folks are having their parents live with them or maybe an adult child living with them and they want to have an extra space with their own entrance to the home with a small kitchenette area like this. And oh, keep in mind that this opening on the right, that would be closed to a garage, a big three car garage there, but it's open because it's a model home. But these suites are getting more and more popular and it's something to consider. Often we have folks who have a family members or a, a parents who are coming in from overseas and they wanna stay for the summer or for three, four, five, six months, or maybe full time. And so these suites to give them an extra space, their own living space, maybe their own bedroom as well. This one's set up more like a studio apartment. But again, this is a custom home builder, so you can design it any way that you want. Okay, I wanna take you over to that small library desk sitting area I mentioned, and that is right over here. And then this, the game room in this house is absolutely amazing. So we're gonna head over there. Um, but check out this super cozy library desk area. I could just sit here for hours reading a book, 
having a coffee or drinking a glass of wine, better yet, and just relaxing and enjoying the view of the courtyard. I want to take you over to see the beautiful game room in this house and normally don't get too excited about a game room, but I think you're going to agree it's one of the best game rooms that I've seen. But first, I'm going to take you over to that beautiful view lot so you could see what a lot looks like that is actually available right now. And then I will continue with the rest of the home, including that amazing game room and show you more of the spectacular views. So this is just one of the many lots available here in the canyons where you can build with Grand Endeavor homes. This lot here, as you can see here, as we're gonna walk down and check out this beautiful view. This lot is 1.6 acres, a little bit more than that. And you can purchase this lot for 650 and then you could build a house of varying sizes, which would obviously control the pricing there. The interesting thing about Grand Endeavor Homes is most of the homes that they build are not on properties that they own. These are more of build on your own lot. So if you own land or wanna purchase land in a different part of Central Texas, Grand Endeavor Homes could certainly be one of your options. And they even own another community not far from here called Villatory that hasn't even uh, been available yet. It's just coming soon. They're also one acre lots and those lots are 250,000 and they're one acre lots. And that is a really great option. If you wanna keep the pricing lower, you can, I think they're starting all in around 800,000. You could build a beautiful custom home on a one acre lot here in Georgetown. But if you want this one with this incredible view, it's gonna be a little bit more, but totally worth it. I'm not sure how many miles that view goes out but for many, and it is a beautiful view. Okay, so we're here in this game room, and I'm gonna show you the game room. There you can see the putting green there from this game room, and there's a door out there. And what I want you to pay attention to in the game room, as well as each of these secondary bedrooms, are these ceiling treatments and the different pitches and ceiling effects that they have going on. And as you know, this is a model home, so they are showing you some of the things that you can do when you build with Grand Endeavor. And so pay attention to that as we walk through. And here is your second powder room, which is super convenient if you're having guests over to watch a movie or watch football or play some pool, or if they're in the backyard uh, using the putting green or the swimming pool. It's super convenient. So think about that when you're planning your custom build. It's one of the things I would think about to put on the checklist. Um, so a little bit later in the video, I'm also want to share with you some information about land for sale, about lots for sale in Georgetown, in Liberty Hill, and even some of the surrounding areas where maybe you get more land for the money that are super up and coming and growing fast that represent great opportunities. So I'm going to share with you a few lots that are currently available that you could think about if you're thinking to look for land and build a custom home. Here you have a nice storage closet and I would say you really can never have too much storage in a house so something to think about and I know my wife would also agree with that. She loves storage. So let's get over to the first suite. Uh, keep in mind that all of the bedrooms here have their own ensuite bathroom and they're all very spacious. So let's talk for a moment about buying land, buying a lot to build your custom home, if you're thinking about that, and some of the mistakes that people make. So I wanna share this with you. So one thing to know, that many of the lots listed for sale are what we call builder restricted, and possibly half of the lots listed, more or less, are builder restricted. And that means that the owner of the land, which may or may not be the builder, but they are tying the purchase of that land to building with a specific builder and sometimes within a certain amount of time. And so if that's something that you didn't realize when you bought that land, that is a big problem. Because one, we wanna make sure that the builder does good work, has a good reputation and this is really critical to know before you buy a piece of land that is tied to a builder that you may not want to work with. 
Mistake number two. A lot of people get very emotional. They see a beautiful piece of land and they don't think about what restrictions are tied to that land. So there may be a homeowners association, there may be an HOA, and they have their set of rules which you need to examine very closely to make sure you're okay with them. But even if there is no HOA, there are often restrictions that you need to be aware of and read them very carefully to make sure that your planned use for the property, the type of home you wanna build, if you wanna build a guest home, and what are the restrictions or the parameters that are allowed under that document. Another mistake a lot of people make, we'll call it mistake number three, when looking for land to build a custom home on, is they don't study enough what easements may be on the property connected to the land or what flood zones it may be in or partially in. Uh, and there are FEMA flood maps that are connected with the Realtor MLS system, but here's the problem. Those flood maps are outdated and there is a way to get the most up-to-date flood maps and overlay that with the property you're considering. Make sure you're aware of what the story is with that. If you're going to need flood insurance or if you even want that property at all, if that is a concern. It's something to consider and it's something you need to know going in with both eyes open. So I love the ceiling in this room. Take a look at this soaring ceiling here in this bedroom suite. I love that country farm ceiling effect and understand that they're showing you different ceiling effects of what you can do when you build a home. It's one of the reasons I love touring so many model homes and also going to the design center with my client when they're purchasing a home so I can be another sounding board and offer some ideas as well since I've seen so many model homes and gone to the different design centers as well. So let's talk about land that is for sale in this general area. We're talking about land in Georgetown, Liberty Hill, and I'll talk about some of the surrounding areas as well. There are many different things that drive the pricing of land. Of course, you have the lot size, you have the number of mature, beautiful trees, the views, how flat the land is, different things like that. But I pulled up some key criteria to see land for sale. I found 17 active lots that fit my criteria, including confirming that these lots are not builder restricted. Like I mentioned earlier, that's really important. Um, now keep in mind that out of these 17 lots, the median uh, is two acres. So they range from about one to three acres. And of those, the median price is about $250,000. I also see six lots that have sold in the past 90 days and three that are currently pending. This gives me an estimate of about seven months of inventory of lots that meet my criteria. And as of now, March 2024, that is fairly balanced. But keep in mind, these things, especially with land, can change very quickly. I wanna thank you for watching this video and invite you to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to learn more about custom building, semi-custom building, or luxury production homes, or buying land. Reach out to me anytime with questions. Again, my name is Seth Capel, and my contact info is in the description of this video. Thank you and have a wonderful day.